In this video, we're going to see how to repeat a set number of rows at the top of a spreadsheet onto every printed page. Our sample data set has five rows of header information containing things like the report name, the company address, phone number, website, and publication date. The data has columns like the sale date column, as well as the cost and sales columns. One of the problems with having a table that is several hundred rows deep is that when we go to print this information, in the print preview, we can see that the first page has all of the header information, but subsequent pages lack that information. It's easy to be looking at page 7 and not remember what those dates actually represent. Are those the order dates or are those the sale dates? Is that cost information on the right or is that profit information? What we'd like to have is the information that is at the top of page 1 to be repeated on pages 2 forward. Returning to Excel, let's go to the Page Layout tab and then click Print Titles. This opens a Page Setup dialog box. On the Sheet tab, there's a feature labeled Rows to Repeat at Top. Let's click in the Feature box and then highlight the first five rows in the spreadsheet. We can now see that Rows to Repeat at Top is set to Rows 1 through 5. We can go straight to Print Preview from the Preview button within the Page Setup dialog box. We can see that Page 1 remains unchanged with the complete header information, but now all subsequent pages have that same complete header information. One of the downsides to having selected so many rows to be repeated at the top of every page is that a large percentage of the print paper space is now repetitive information. If I need to know the date that the report was printed, I can always return to page 1 to see that information. It's really only the table's header that I need repeated from pages 2 forward. To fix this, let's return to regular Excel. On page layout, we'll go back to print titles, and in the rows to repeat at top section, we will change this from rows 1 through 5 to just row 5. Now when we return to print preview, we can see page 1 remains unchanged. It has the full header information, but pages 2 forward only contain the table's heading row as a repeated row at the top. This maximizes paper space for transactional information. Thanks for watching, and remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.